Hello, 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 my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lena Tay coming to you today with another video. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I dye my hair jet black because it is like an ashy black with blonde tips on the end. And I'm going to show you guys how I straighten my hair. I haven't straightened my hair since I gave birth about six months ago. So it's time for something new. It's time for some vibrant, rich color. And today I'm using a dark and lovely fade resistant color in the color jet black. I use two boxes of this color, but I'm, honestly, you can use one box if your hair is already dark. Now, if it's like light color, then you're probably going to need full coverage, such as two boxes of dye, okay? So, I'm starting my hair off dry. It's kind of dirty. You see my blonde ends that I've had for years, honestly. And I just took my four braids out, and I'm literally going to just apply the color. Um, I'm just going to mix the color with the developer in the applicator bottle and I'm just going to work from the ends to the roots and that's how I'm going to do it, you guys not hard it's such a quick and easy process I love box dye because it's just easy and it's like anti-mess when you're using like a semi-permanent dye like with the door or whatever like the semi-permanent dye you know it's in a squeeze tube and it can get a little messy but with the applicator with the dark and lovely um i definitely was able to do it without any mess or any squirting everywhere super super easy um if your hair is relaxed they says it takes about 20 minutes and if it's natural it takes 10 more minutes than that so it takes 30 minutes to fully process and i think i did about 27 minutes and then i rinsed it out um i did use a clarifying shampoo i always use clarifying shampoos when i straighten my hair i use a suave um the suave clarifying shampoo and then i use a dark and lovely conditioner that came with the box okay um and i'll also deep condition so after i condition i'll use a deep condition before i straighten it just to add more moisture to my hair lightweight moisture and i use the shea moisture um deep conditioning like repair treatment and i use that for the deep conditioner guys Alright y'all, so this is basically my hair after I was well, shampoo in it right now, but after I dyed it, and as you guys can see, my hair is super jet black, y'all. Like super jet black. I'ma zoom in whenever I put the conditioner in, which is the step two. Um, for the fade resistant color, you just want to make sure that you have your hair nice and conditioned. But before I straighten my hair, I always like to do a clarifying shampoo just to kind of get all that extra oils or anything that may be left in my hair you know before I straighten it because I just feel like you get better results when your hair is like lightweight and your hair is not way down
Okay, y'all, so after I rinsed out the deep conditioner that was in my hair for about 10, 15 minutes, I like to use a tension method for my hair because the longer my hair gets and the thicker it's getting, the more it's kind of harder to manage. And also, I'm having postpartum shedding, so this is kind of, kind of helped me not be so rough with my hair at first. If I already kind of get it in a stretched state, then it's not as difficult to blow it it's out, I noticed. So... This is called the tension me method. I'm usually literally just pulling my hair and blowing on it with the hot air so it can stretch out to a more of a straight style. So I do that first. And then after I do that, then I use the dimming brush and then I blow it out. Um, and then that's gonna give me, you know, the more blowout look before I straighten it. When I straighten, I use the Baby Bliss Nano Pro. It's like the half inch flat iron. I use the Giovanni Serum before i blow it out and also before i straighten it so i make sure i use the serum twice um and then i also use the ion solutions from sally's i use that before i blow it out and that before i flat iron as well so that's the heat protectant so that's gonna make sure that i'm protected from the blowout process and also protected from the flat iron process now i'm going to show you guys how to do it for a you know a few passes but i'm not going to show you guys like in you know full 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 detail because i'm sure you guys know how to how to flat iron um i just wanted you guys to kind of get a more of a therapeutic experience while i'm straightening my hair so yes guys i hope you enjoyed this video i am going to do a length, length check so you guys can see the length of my hair now i've been almost eight years natural so my hair is pretty long it's, it's at the goal that i wanted guys so i hope you enjoy watching this video and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys love you stay safe Mwah. Thank you.